Today we're going to keep talking about one point perspective. Start by putting a giant X in the middle of your paper. Next is a horizon line that's going to go straight through your X. Let's start your trees. As you can see as I'm drawing my trees, the top of the tree starts at the top of the X and the bottom trunk of the tree will stop at the bottom part of the X. Your buildings are next on the opposite side and they will look exactly like your trees as far as where they start and where they stop. Buildings will start in the top right hand corner. You can see a little baby line that I drew that basically makes a tiny baby triangle. That's my first line number one. Number two will measure the width of my building. Number three it's going to go straight down. For this one, you will need to use a ruler. This line is going to match the next line and the side of your paper. So line number four is another line that runs parallel to number three. They're twins. Number five is another basically tiny triangle. And number six just finishes off the bottom of your building. Now you're just gonna repeat this over and over until you get back to your vanishing point, which means you have no more room for your buildings. So as you can tell, I'm just repeating the same steps over and over again till I get all the way back in the distance. Next is the sidewalks that are gonna be on both sides of my street. For this, I'm gonna start at my vanishing point and use my rulers. The next thing I'm going to do is my yellow lines. Again, people, use your rulers. Your ruler is gonna be your best friend. I'm just gonna draw two lines from my vanishing point. I'm adding the details on the sidewalks, which are parallel to the bottom of my paper. And then I'm ready to start my doors. Doors, I'm gonna use another vanishing point line. Starts at my vanishing point and angles out. This is how I know where to draw the tops of my doors and the tops of my windows. These are my guidelines. 